tools are functions that an agent can run to perform specific tasks. Think of them as the agent's way of interacting with external systems, accessing data, or executing commands beyond its built-in capabilities. By using tools, you can extend the agent's abilities to fetch real-time information, process data, automate workflows, and even control hardware if needed. Whether it's querying a database, interacting with an API, or performing file operations, tools make it possible. In this Agno tutorial, I am going to walk you through how to create your own tools. In Agno, there are two primary types of tools, toolkits and functions. Toolkits are collections of related functions packaged together. Think of a toolkit like a Swiss army knife, where each tool inside serves a specific purpose. For example, you might have a shell toolkit for running shell commands or a database toolkit for managing data queries. On the other hand, functions as tools are individual operations you register directly with the agent. These are simpler and ideal when you only need to expose a single specific action without the overhead of a full toolkit. While Agno comes with its own toolkit collection, the available functions are intentionally kept limited to encourage customization. This allows you to build exactly what you need for your unique use case. Now that we've covered the basics of what tools are, let's start with the simplest way to create a tool in Agno, using functions as tools. Comparing to toolkits, which are more advanced, it's important to understand how individual functions can be registered directly with an agent. This is perfect when you just need a quick standalone tool without the structure of an entire toolkit. For example, if all you need is to perform a simple math operation like multiplication, wrapping that in a full toolkit might be overkill. Registering it as a single function keeps things lightweight and easy to manage. Using functions as tools comes with both strengths and limitations. On the positive side, simplicity is a major advantage. Functions are perfect for quick tasks because you don't need to create extra classes. Just define the function, register it, and you're ready to go. This makes it incredibly quick to implement, especially when prototyping new features or adding one-off functionalities. Another benefit is that there's less boilerplate code to deal with, meaning you spend less time on setup and more time focusing on the actual logic. However, there are some drawbacks to keep in mind. One of the key challenges is limited organization. If you start adding many functions, managing them individually can become cumbersome, leading to a cluttered and hard to navigate code base. Additionally, it's harder to scale this approach. As your project grows and the number of functions increases, it can get messy without a structured way to group related functionalities together. This is where toolkits come into play, offering a more organized solution for handling multiple functions. Think of it like this. Registering a function is like carrying a single tool in your pocket. It's great for quick jobs, but if you need multiple tools, you'd probably want a toolbox. That's where toolkits come in. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll cover toolkits shortly. Now let's walk to a simple example in Python. We'll create a function that multiplies two numbers and register it as a tool for the agent. In a blank Python file, create a function called multiply numbers that takes two inputs, A and B, and returns their product. Now we'll register this function with an agent. Create an agent and register the multiple numbers function to the tools. Now that the function is registered, the agent knows how to handle multiplication requests. Let's see it in action. In the request, let's ask what is 7 times 6. Run the script. If we look at the log, the agent reads the prompt. Figured out that to answer my question, it needs to use the multiply number function from its toolset and from the function output of 42, 
it then formats the result into a more natural conversational response. Now imagine you're not just handling multiplication. What if you also need to add functions for addition, subtraction, and division? Managing them all individually will clutter your code. This is where toolkits come in. Toolkits allow you to group related functions together, making your code more organized and easier to maintain. Think of a toolkit like a toolbox. Instead of carrying around a single screwdriver in your pocket, you've got a whole set neatly organized, wrenches, pliers, and everything you need for the job. In Agno, a toolkit is just a Python class where you register multiple functions as tools. This is perfect when your tools are related and you want to keep things clean and scalable. So why use a toolkit? The purpose is simple, to keep your code organized when you have multiple related functions. It makes your tools easier to manage, more reusable across different agents, and helps avoid code clutter. In summary, toolkits offer a ton of advantages. The biggest one, organization. You can neatly group related functions together, which keeps your code clean, especially as your project grows. They're also highly reusable. Once you've created a toolkit, you can plug it into different agents without rewriting code. On the flip side, toolkits do add a bit more complexity compared to simple functions. You'll need to create classes, manage imports, and follow a structure. For really small one-off tasks, this might feel like overkill. But if you've got more than two or three related functions, toolkits are absolutely the way to go. Now let's look at how to create a toolkit in Python. Navigate to Agno Tools directory and create a Python file. Let's call it mathtoolkit.py. Inside the module, import the toolkit class from Agno Tools. Now, let's define our toolkit class. We'll call it math toolkit. This class will hold all of our math related functions. Here, we've defined a class called math toolkit that inherits from the toolkit class. This tells Agno that math toolkit is a collection of tools. Inside the init method, initialize the toolkit with a name, math toolkit. This name helps Agno identify and manage the toolkit internally. Next, add the functions that will perform basic math operations. Each of these functions takes two numbers, a and b, and performs a basic math operation. Now that we've written the functions, it's time to register them as tools. This step is what makes them accessible to the agent. In the init method, Use the self-register method to add the function as tool. It is like saying, hey Agno, this function is a tool, and the agent should be able to use it. Once we register the four functions, from now on, whenever the agent needs to perform one of these operations, it knows exactly which function to call. Now let's test the math toolkit. Create a blank Python file, and create an agent with the math toolkit assigned. Please note that when importing the math toolkit, we're importing it from the Agno Tools module. Now let's test the function by asking what is 15 divided by 3? Okay, so here we are getting a data type error saying input should be a valid string, and that is because function output from the tool functions should return as a string data type since normally a generative model cannot recognize non string data. Let me go ahead and fix the error. Now let's try again. And this time the agent successfully picks up the right tool from the math toolkit and returns five as the answer. Let's try user numeric value instead of letter. And the agent chooses subtract numbers function and returns 12 as the answer. And that concludes this Agno Create Your Own Tool Function tutorial. Hopefully, you find the video useful. If there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you would like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you're a Patreon member, 
you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.